Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel. And today you are you're seeing right. I I have Wise Schwarz again. I got the one Oshinoko trial deck and one booster box. And yeah, it's I think like a it feels like a year ago that I opened Wise Schwarz the last time. It was like the the Shainsaw Man unboxing. It's probably like the my worst unboxing on my channel because I was just so angry and annoyed by myself that that I bought these uh, the box and the trial deck because at the moment of the recording I was as always like kind of struggling financially and I I knew that I shouldn't buy it but I bought it anyway and then I was like yeah went into the unboxing with this mood like of angry about myself and yeah it even got like one comment of, like uh this this unboxing gave me depression and yeah i think it was a fair comment because it's just man i i cannot stand to watch it myself probably <laughs> because it's so yeah not in a uh, not in a good mood so yeah today i'm in a better mood <laughs> really excited about the cards and yeah, hope for maybe I get like a nice pull, but I'm I'm happy with every every pull I get because yeah, when I I don't know some people uh, probably knew the anime or what they went into, but when I when I watched the first episode of Oshinoko, I knew nothing. Like I didn't know that it's like idol or like what is the theme. I went completely blind into it. So it was really like a, a roller coaster of the emotions and it overwhelmed me a lot. I I learned to to love every character over the time and probably okay, this is a cool art style. That's something different. Don't know if they they mix the anime art with like some manga art. I know they did this with Dragon Maid, but maybe they do it with uh, Oshinoko too. But yeah, this this was like a very unique experience for me that I usually like when you start an anime, you have heard of it. You Even if you don't want it, probably over social media, someone spoiled you or like you knew what you get yourself into. But with Oshinoko, it was all new and uh, yeah, that was so cool. And I'm really excited for the, for the second season of the, the anime. And yeah, I, I actually really like Aqua too. Uh, yeah, really cool character. Oh, we got a triple and it's the baby. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, there's probably like a very small chance to get a signature from these trial decks, if I remember it correctly, but yeah, the baby, baby Aqua, so cute too. Nice. I'm already, already happy. Of course it would be Awesome to pull like a sign card or or like the SSP. There's also like the OFR. Man, I should have done like some more research. But my guess is that there are also like OFR rarity cards. But yeah, it's <laughs> for those of you who are really into white schwarz, uh, don't get your hopes up. I'm not doing a lot of white schwarz in the future. I'm way too much into V cross at the moment. And yeah, oh, I get so much light into my face. I have to hide. Uh, yeah, I cannot really like spend so much on, on boxes because when I do it, I will just do bad videos like uh, the Shane Man unboxing, which I maybe, maybe when this video goes live, I have deleted it because it's a little bit like shameful. I don't know. Yeah. Definitely my my worst unboxing, my least favorite one. But it it's part it's part of the journey of me and my channel. Okay, this looks funny. Funny expression. Yeah, as always, I'm very bad with names, so I probably should have should have put up the the characters after the the booster pack. There will be like a very small cut. Because it's too embarrassing, like when I uh, when I cannot remember all the names. So, gee, 
no co. So now I have the characters name it. So man with characters names, I'm so bad. I don't know what's what's going on with my brain, but yeah, Akana or Ak Akano. I should have I should read uh cool. Ak I cannot read all <laughs> all katagana's. I just. Uh, or maybe the sometimes the names are a little bit different in, in Japanese. When you try to to read the katagana's, you're a little bit confused because they they don't really match with the English or like German names. But yeah. Let's see what Oh it's an S oh no. We pulled emotional damage. Yeah, okay. I Yeah, this man, this card gives me uh PTSD like. Man, that's pain. Yeah, I hope you you have to watch the anime. You you should you shouldn't watch like uh watch no core unboxings when you you haven't watched the anime. It's such a man, that's such a roller coaster of emotions. And uh, there should also be uh, another Oshinoko release in not in in Weiss Schwarz but in what was the TCG's name? It's a Japanese exclusive with O, I think O Osika. I think it's Osika. I have opened Dragon Maid boxes from this TCG. Not a fan of the the card design in general. Oh, that looks cool. But uh, yeah, I will probably, I don't know when the release it, it depends what my, my finances are, but uh, I will try to get at least one box. I would like to get two, but yeah. The, the high hits from Osika, they are very nice looking. A double rare. Sometimes, but sometimes these screenshots like, I think this was like one of my complaints in the Shainsaw Man unboxing. I don't want to go this road again, but sometimes the art is just so lazy and not really good. <laughs> the the screenshots and everything, but yeah. What I wanted to say, like uh, Osika, the higher rarities. There was also uh, my Dress Up Darling release in, in Osika. And yeah, even like the, the highest hits, they are quite expensive too and I don't think they have the same art frame like the lower rarities. So yeah, maybe if you if you want to get more Usika, you should try to oh a double rare. The foiling is kinda nice, but there are like small stars also. I don't know if they have like a special a special foiling for for this set, for this release? Or did I just not notice before these uh, sparkle stars in the foiling? And yeah, I'm still get blinded by the light, but this is due to my to my bad placement of my desk. I'm sorry, now I'm super white looking. <laughs> like I never touch grass. Not like this is not not far from truth. Sometimes I have to leave the house. Another rare. But yeah, I, I, but I don't remember the the release date of the Usika. I have to look into it. I know that I still got one Dragon Maid Usika box for a, a special occasion, maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe a live stream or something. But nowadays, like the. The print stock or like the print, the print run of the Osika boxes is, I guess, kind of small because when I, when I got aware of the My Dress Up Darling Osika boxes, they were already like uh, a lot more expensive, uh, like kind of like too expensive for me. So I didn't got a, ah, that's cool. 
classical double rare. Looks really sweet with the star foiling. Very fitting. Even if I don't like the... I shouldn't start there again, but I... Oh. Uh, I don't like this, this plasticky uh, feeling of the, the background in the double rares. Maybe I'm alone with this. But here we got one SR. One emotional pain as are. Can we get like a like a happy, wholesome moment as are? Nothing nothing with pain. So we got the baby aqua. I would like to get maybe a adult aqua or like a ruby as are if I could choose. Yeah, I I want to get into the manga also, but like all my money is already bound to getting cards, so spending spending money on on manga is kind of no no. But maybe uh, if if you have read the manga, is there like a hey that's a that's a nice hit? Uh, is there like a, a big difference between like the the manga and the anime? Sometimes they they have a little bit different of a storytelling journey or they have to adjust some things for the anime. But okay, we got a SR. Uh it's uh can Akane? Akane. Right? Yeah the the foiling the pattern in the background looks cool. Okay. Uh yeah, she she gets recorded probably for the for the series but yeah there are two sr hits oh i ain't gay but i don't know not so sure anymore this sounds sus but we're already like 12 minutes in the end of the video nobody's watching but yeah if you're still watching uh thank you for watching even if it's white schwarz and yeah i will have one more white schwarz box uh for the future because there 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 is like a box or release with a few egyptian artwork cards that i want it's like some egyptian gods so i had to to get a box to try my my luck don't know when i will open it but in general if you are really into white schwarz uh I'm not the right channel for you. I'm more into Vcross. But yeah. Thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.